Bismillahir This video is about dermatofibrosarcoma protuberance. Following are references for this video. The dermatofibrosarcoma protuberance is a well differentiated primary fibrosarcoma of the skin. It is a slowly growing locally aggressive tumor that occurs in young adults between the age of 20 to 40 years of age. It is more common in blacks in the United States and uh, the commonly affected site is trunk. The second most site is extremity while 15% of the cases occur in the head and neck region. It is considered an, uh, a tumor of intermediate malignant potential. More than 90% of the cases of dermatofibrosarcoma protuberance have uh, translocation 1722. That is the translocation of G collagen 1A1 and platelet drive growth factor beta gene. As a result, there is juxtaposition of collagen 1A1 promoter sequence and codic region of platelet drive growth factor beta that results in increased platelet drive growth factor secretion that uh, through autocrine effect leads to tumor cell growth. Wide local excision is necessary for the treatment as a treatment of uh, this tumor and uh, for treatment of uh, undissectable cases the Inhibitors of uh, platelet drive growth factor beta receptor tyrosine kinase are used. So, this uh, treatment is uh, lifelong and imatinib is, imatinib is used for uh, treatment and uh, this is a lifelong treatment. If it is withdrawn, the regrowth of the tumor occurs. So, the Treatment must be lifelong. Clinically, the lesion of dermatofibrosarcoma protuberance is a firm indurated plaque that is often misinterpreted as a scar and there is a presence of exophytic nodules. The color is variable. It varies from skin color to red-brown. Sometimes, the atrophic variant of uh, this dermatofibrosarcoma protuberance mimic sclerosing basal cell carcinoma, morphia or a scar. This picture is showing uh, an irregular sclerotic skin color to uh, reddish indurated plaque that is present on the back of a 40 year old male and over here this uh, reddish nodule represent exophytic growth. This picture is showing the gross appearance of cut surface of uh, uh, dermatofibrosarcoma protuberance. This is a fibrotic nodule on gross examination. The probable origin of dermatofibrosarcoma protuberance is dermal fibroblast like dendritic cells. The tumor cells are poorly circumscribed, they are closely packed monotonous fibroblasts and uh, these are spindle shaped cells. They are arranged radially and reminiscent of blades of a pinwheel. This is a pattern that is referred to as a story form pattern. Mitoses are rare and uh, epidermis. In the dermatofibroma there is pseudoepitheliomatous hyperplasia of the epidermis here in dermatofibrosarcoma the epidermis is thinned there is a dermal extension of the of the tumor and uh, this tumor extend into the subcutis along the fat septa and interstices that creates an infiltrative honeycomb like pattern. Subcutis involvement is common, hence uh, wide uh, excision is required. 
Immunohistochemistry CD34 is the marker for endothelial cell and some uh, neural cells as well as dermal fibroblast like dendritic cells and this marker helps in differentiating dermatofibrosarcoma from dermatofibroma. This photomicrograph is uh, demonstrating the pinwheel pattern. The spindle cells are arranged radially and they are forming the spinwheel or storyform pattern. Here the tumor cells are arranged radially and uh, in the center there is a vascular space. Another picture of dermatofibrosarcoma protuberance. Diagnosis of uh, this dermatofibrosarcoma protuberance is made on histopathology. Wide surgical uh, resection is required and uh, if recurrence or in uh, inoperable cases, imatinib is used lifelong.